Thanks for tuning in to the 3D Tutor. Hey guys and welcome to this new virtual portfolio gallery tutorial. So where we left off last time was we got the ambient sound in of the birds singing and all that nice stuff. And obviously a bit of a breeze going through the, the wind, um, going through the branches as well. So you can see how that sounds, pretty nice. Okay, but now what we're gonna do is we're gonna be bringing in an additional sound which is going to be the room intro sound. So if this was a portfolio piece, then you could obviously talk about you know, the different skills. Uh, it's almost like a developer diary, I guess. Um, and you're gonna be talking about the process of creating this space. So I've, I've actually created that beforehand. I um, went into Audacity and really quickly knocked together uh, a very simple audio clip, which is gonna do the trick. So what we need to do for this, and we'll do it as quickly as I can, we're just going to go and add a box trigger into that space. Now don't worry if the box triggers overlap because it is going to be a separate um, event that occurs there. So we've got the original trigger box for the door opening and we've got this new one. So I'm going to be uh, naming this trigger box foliage intro. Okay, just because that's the intro for the foliage room. And then I'm going to go into my blueprints, open level blueprints. We're going to go in here, begin, overlap. And then we're going to go in with a do once. And then all that we need to do is drag in our audio component into there. And we're going to link it in from the do once. Okay, so it's important that you get the do once in between because you only want that audio to trigger off once, not every time you overlap the trigger box. Because again, if it was a developer diary and you had commentary on in a game, that audio would only trigger the one time you passed through a certain area. Okay, so it's, uh, it's quite a, a neat way of doing it. Um, so we can test that now and then we'll have a play with the audio and make sure that it's all leveled out nicely. So we're just going to go forward. Hi, and welcome to the foliage room. Within this room, I created this tree, which I've duplicated numerous times, rotated it and placed it in various locations. Also, if you look onto the ground, I've created a landscape with two separate materials, one for the grass and one for the dirt. To add additional detail, I painted foliage also in the form of plants. There are three different variations. Also, as you can see, I've animated the foliage to add more sense of realism. Okay guys, that brings this video to an end. Hopefully uh, you've got it to work. I mean, it's a fairly simple blueprint. Hopefully it's helped you. Because again, you can take this on, you can put it in your game. Uh, it could be to trigger off commentary or a audio event uh, as you walk through a, a different space. It doesn't have to be audio. It could be any sound. It could be, you know, for a horror game. It could be for anything. Um, but I've obviously used it for vocals, which works quite nicely in this space. Now, once again, guys, hopefully you enjoyed it and it was useful. And I'll catch you all next time.